十八 Pro 芯片，准备起航。新朋友们，大家好！欢迎各位来到二零二四 I O Connect China 谷歌谷谷歌开发者大会。今年 I O Connect 大会的环球之旅，在全球开发者最活跃的国家和地区举办。从德国的柏林到印度的班加罗尔，今天来到了中国北京。中国是全球最大的开发者市场之一，而中国的开发者更是全球舞台上不可或缺的先锋力量。在移动应用与游戏的领域，你们通过了不断的创新，提升了用户的体验。过去的一年，来自中国的二十五个开发团队，共有三十一款游戏和应用，在全球不同的地区斩获了五十个 Google Play。年度最佳奖项，我们是不是应该给我们中国的开发者团队一个掌声呢？在步入这个 AI 赋能的时代，我们很高兴的看到你们依旧走在前沿，积极的利用 AI 来重塑商业模式，驱动业务的升级。我希望与大家分享几个观察与案例。首先 ，AI 正在助力数字营销。迈向高效与便捷。网易游戏在海外借助 Google Cloud Vertex AI 平台，大幅的提升了广告文案创作效率，工作的时间从原本一周缩减到几个小时，每月累计可以生成七百多条定制化的文案，为全球的受众提供更针对性的营销体验。同时， AI 也在持续带来商业的增长。国际家居在线平台 h o m e r y 在 Google AI 赋能的海外广告投放中，通过用户用户预测潜在购买品类，提升了百分之四十九的投资回报率和百分之五十的转换效率。我们同样欣喜的看到，对 AI 的提前部署。正在帮助像小米这样的全球化品牌在海外市场抢占先机，让产品更具竞争力。我们很期待新一代的小米旗舰设备在 Google Cloud 和 Gemini 的支持下，为海外的用户带来更加智能的体验。AI 推动的进步不仅限于尖端生产力，在促进文化传承与造福社会。同样有无限的可能。早在 AI 浪潮兴起之前，谷歌艺术与文化早已经透过各种不同的技术工具，积极的探索，利用科技助力文化的传承。在过去的一年，谷歌艺术与文化通过沉浸式的线上展览，并利用 Firebase 技术打造互动的艺术体验。向全世界的用户展现广州千年港口的璀璨历史和中国饮食文化的魅力。如今 ，AI 的崛起
为传统与现代之间架起的融合创新的桥梁。广西民族大学利用 Google 全球 AI 的开源技术进行实践与应用，保护和传承少数民族非物质文化的遗产。用科技之力点亮传统文化之光。与此同时，我们也面向未来，以 Climate Action 为主题，资助和支持利用 Google 开源的技术，来应对中国气候挑战的学术研究项目。除此之外 ，AI 为不同的背景下的个体，架起了链接世界的崭新通路。下面让我们一起来到四川海拔三千六百米的高原牧场，来见证西南民族大学如何借助 Google AI 的开源技术，开创实践创新，为当地的牧民的生活带来改变。我们来看一下影片。红原县平均海拔三千五百多米，这里有一望无际的草场，牦牛有没有长肉是牧民非常关心的问题。我们收集了大量的牦牛图像数据，利用 TensorFlow 训练牦牛的关键点检测，借助轻量化的 TensorFlowLight 模型部署在 APP 上。现在，牧民只需要拍摄牦牛的照片，就能估算出牦牛的体重，适时调整养殖策略。为了帮助牧民更好地进行放牧规划，我们利用谷歌的 AR c o u d 技术，在 APP 上设计了放牧规划模块、草畜平衡模块。记录自家牧场的放牧情况，推动牧场的可持续发展。我们希望可以用科技的力量，帮助高原上的牧民生活更美好。我们同样的期待，通过提供更多接触 AI 的机会，帮助孩子们在未来追逐梦想。在二十六所偏远地区小学的课堂上，谷歌公益携手新兴教育基金会。通过编译梦想的项目，为九百多名学生进行 AI 入门和基础的教育，为他们打开 AI 世界的大门。透过 AI 实现更加智能便捷的无障碍功能，也是我们一直在探索的方向。而 Google 的开源 AI 架构可以为此提供助力。在善创未来黑客马拉松中，四百多名的开发者以公益实践为主题。带来了兼具人文关怀、实用性和前瞻性的技术解决方案。在今年的开发者大会，我们也很兴奋的能分享一系列无障碍的项目，包括两个 AI 技术开源项目“手语村”与“智影线”，旨在帮助听障和视障的人士带来更多学习与生活的便利。欢迎大家待会前往展示区去体验。我们期待来自中国开发者的无障碍 AI 应用，传递更多有温度的创新体验。我们正在见证 AI 带来的深远影响。今天与大家分享的不同案例与应用，都得益于中国开发者在 AI 领域的积极探索。我们为了更好服务中国的开发者走向海外。我们在 Google 开发者中文网站上推出了 Google AI 的页面，在这里可以轻松地获取 Google AI 相关的技术相关更新与资讯。中文版的 Code Lab、Chrome 与 Web 专题页面也已经上线，为广大的中国开发者提供更丰富的学习资源。此外，面对未来，我们同样深知开发人才储备的重要性。因此，自二零二零年起，我们通过与教育部合作的谷歌人才培养计划，目前已与全国一百五十多所高校的五百六十多名教师开展了线下的培训，将 Google 的广告与开源的技术融入课堂的教学。我们已经累计覆盖了四万多名的在校的学生。除了培育的技术、培训的技术呃资源之外呢，我们也针对 AI、Web、Mobile 和 Cloud 的开发，带来了一系列的产品更新。我们的开发者团队的工作也取得了令人瞩目的成果。在接下来的时间，我们同事们将会为大家详细介绍这些进展。
。此外，我们还很荣幸地邀请到了三位嘉宾，待会会与大家分享他们在 AI 领域的精彩故事。从技术的革新到人文的关怀 ，AI 的潜力超出想象。这幅动人的画卷正在你们的手中徐徐的展开。我想邀请所有富有创新力的开发者与谷歌一起，共同迎接未来无限的可能。接下来有请我的同事 Developer X 和开发者关系的全球副总裁暨总经理 j i n i n 上台。来分享我们如何在 AI 的时代助力中国开发者。谢谢大家。The team here has had quite a busy year, and I want to thank all of you, our fantastic developer community, for continuing to choose to build with Google. AI is transforming the very fundamentals of software development, including all the inspiration for what we build and new techniques for how we build. Well, at Google. We're on a mission to make generative AI accessible to every single developer on the planet. AI is enabling people and all of us to be even more innovative and productive. To do that, we offer Gemini models, three ranges of sizes, so you can choose what works best for you. Gemini Nano is our most effective on-device model. It runs directly on mobile. Enabling low latency responses, as well as better data privacy. Paul and Jingyu will tell you more about it in a few minutes. Gemini 1.5 Flash is our fastest, most cost-efficient model for high-volume tasks. It's available to you with the one million token context window. And Gemini 1.5 Pro is best suited for complex tasks where the highest quality response is required. We've now opened up access to the two million token context window for all developers using Gemini 1.5 Pro, and the feedback has been so amazing. Longer context windows unlock many new possibilities, from improving model performance, surfacing new use cases, and they also. Enable you to imagine all kinds of new things you can do, but they also can be computationally expensive, and that's why we've made context caching available for Gemini 1.5 Pro, and we extended it to 1.5 Flash. This means that you can now cache a large part of your prompt so that you don't have to send back through the same prompt on the next turn. Cash prompts are also faster to execute. If you're an export developer, you can start experimenting with all the new Gemini models in Google AI Studio, which is the fastest way to get started with Google's most capable AI models. Go to the tool, sign right in, and just start prompting Gemini models at no cost. With the Gemini family, you can focus on building AI features while we handle the heavy lifting of training and maintaining complex models. We also understand that you may need the flexibility to fine-tune and augment and ground the AI in your own data. That's why we've released Gemma, our family of open models. Gemma is built on the same infrastructure and tooling as our Gemini family of models. So we wanted to make the most useful and accessible models possible. Many of you have been sharing all the cool things you've been doing with Gemma. It's been really cool to see, and it's been expanding to multiple spoken languages all around the world. We released the next generation of Gemma, Gemma Two. One of the top requests we've heard from you is for a bigger Gemma model. But the size is still important so that it's easy to use. So we've added both nine billion and twenty-seven billion parameter sizes. 
Gemma 2 is much more powerful and efficient than the first generation, with significant safety features built right in. And also, here's what's great about it. The 27 billion model is optimized for NVIDIA to run on a single NVIDIA GPU, Google Cloud. Or you can even efficiently run on a single TPU host in Vertex AI. This quality to size ratio is truly astounding. It outperforms models that are two to three times bigger. At IO Connect China last year, we introduced a fun demo, Da Wang, a talking dog that's powered by Google's AI. Well, I have a fun idea for you. This year, Da Wang is back and better than ever. We've upgraded him with vision capabilities that are powered by Gemma 2 and the lightweight open vision language model, PolyGemma. Now, Da Wang can not only talk, but can also see his surroundings. Come experience and play with Da Wang 2.0 in our demo area. I've covered the tools and model for what you can build. Now, let's take a moment and talk about how you built. Gemini is integrated into many of the development tools and services that you love. Android Studio, Chrome DevTools, Firebase, Project IDX, Colab, VS Code, and IntelliJ. With these integrations, Gemini is even more helpful with context such as your app settings, performance data, logs, and even your entire source code. It can help you with writing, debugging, and testing your code, or generating documentation as well as understanding your code base. You're going to hear more about this from a few of my colleagues soon. We know that your ideas come to life in many different ways. No one is the same. And all across the platforms that your users need, we think that building a modern app that is beautiful, performant, secure, and it runs anywhere, plus uses AI safely, should be seamless. Whether you're working on the front end, or the back end, or the full stack. And that is where Google's suite of app development tools come in, have started to bring it all together so you can build with ease, speed, and confidence. Let's start with Flutter, one of our most beloved products. I'm sure that many of you who use Flutter in the audience today. Well, in fact, China is one of the top three countries for Flutter development worldwide. We're committed to helping you to deliver beautiful, fast, and high-quality experiences across all the platforms that your users rely on. And that's why I'm excited to announce the release of Flutter 3.24 and Dart 3.5. Today's release includes improved support and performance for platform view and web views on Mac OS. But one of the most exciting parts of this release is an early preview of something new. It's called Flutter GPU, built right into the Flutter SDK itself. This API lets you access the GPU using your Dart code, unlocking a new level of performance and control graphics rendering. To simplify how you use this new API, we're building packages like Flutter Scene, with this new package, you can import industry standard 3D models directly into your Flutter projects. It runs smoothly on iOS, Mac OS, in preview, and Android devices that utilize the impeller engine. Run Flutter upgrade and try it out today. Some of the most innovative use cases of Flutter have come from China, and this year is no different. If you're a fan of cars, you've certainly heard of the Xiaomi SU7 that launched earlier this year. What you might not know, though, is that the app for the car is built with Flutter. Let's listen to why Xiaomi Audio Auto chose Flutter. 
小米作为全球技术领导者之一，一直致力于通过创新提升用户体验。这种信念引领我们进入了汽车行业，并推出了新款电动车小米苏七。我们使用了 Google 的开源 UI 工具包 Flutter， 打造了一款车载配套应用，旨在增强驾驶体验，并与汽车的高级功能无缝集成。小米汽车的应用程序提供了一整套功能，包括远程车辆控制、接收车辆状态的实时更新等。小米汽车后排可以悬挂 Pad， 安装我们另外一款小米汽车拓展屏 App， 同样使用了 Flutter 进行开发。我们发现上手 Flutter 非常容易，并且进展迅速。我们预估比使用原生框架的效率要高百分之六十。通过 Flutter 的卓越性能和高度可定制的 UI 组件，我们在 iOS 和安卓平台上很快交付了一致且出色的用户体验，与汽车的设计美学相得益彰。我们对创新的承诺，结合 Flutter 的力量，将继续推动我们前进，为用户打造颠覆性的体验。Creating apps is a great experience with Project IDX, our AI-powered web-based development workspace that lets everyone build all kinds of different apps. And it's now in public beta. So right at your fingertips, you can access integrations with a variety of tools, both from Google and the open ecosystem. For those of you that are using Android Studio to build for the billions of Android devices around the world, well, I've got news for you. We've introduced an early preview of Android Studio and IDX running fully inside your browser. With just a few clicks, you'll be able to set up a workspace that's running Android Studio, and you can quickly just start coding and building and testing your Android apps. So now, whether you're using Android Studio locally on your machine, or you're using an IDX workspace with Android Studio in the cloud, Google has you covered. As you know, building apps with AI raises the stakes for reliability, compliance, and safety, and that is where Google Suite of Products can help you. For instance. The Firebase AI monitoring dashboard shows real-time insights into the performance and behavior of the features that you're building with LLMs in production. It's now available in private preview, and it already works seamlessly with Firebase GenKit. We're also making it easier to develop compliant and safe apps with checks. Say hello to Checks AI Safety. Okay. It's a powerful new service that evaluates, monitors, and also oversees the compliance of your AI models and agents within your apps. You can run configurable safety policies, adversarial prompt testing, and in-production app monitoring. And to help you get your hands together with the Google's app development suite, we've created a sample app that we call Compass. It's a travel itinerary app. It comes with full working code and it helps you explore how you can build AI-enabled apps. So try that out. We believe AI has the potential to transform the entire software development lifecycle. Before I wrap up, I want to share just one more thing, and that's a sneak peek into some AI agents that we're building. Google leads. Several many large open source projects, each with thousands of contributors who file issues, submit code, and they ask questions in our open forums. Yeah, that's a lot to keep up with. So we ask ourselves, what if an AI capable of intelligently helping us surface this information from all the variety of sources for each of our projects to help efficiently manage them and distract? Away from this, what you love best, coding, right? Well, we're making available Project Oscar. It's an open-source contributor agent that can help you maintain open-source projects. We're starting with the Go project, which has thousands and thousands of lines, 
And we want to make this possible for all kinds of different projects. Here's a look at a couple more of the experiments that we're doing with AI at Google. The Compass Travel Planning app is built with Flutter and uses Gen AI models behind the scenes to generate trip itineraries with text and images. What if it could also generate the client code that presents the itinerary in a personalized way and asks follow-up questions with interactive UI elements? We're developing a Flutter tool that uses AI models to dynamically generate UI in real time. In this example, every pixel on the screen, including the itinerary itself, the refinement filters, and the logic handling user interactions are all assembled in real time and pushed to the client by AI. Now that the app's been built, let's test it with the AI testing agent by Firebase. The agent tests apps just as you would during manual testing. Let's ask for a trip itinerary and give it an assertion criteria. The AI testing agent launches the app, enters the description, taps on plan my trip, selects a destination, and completes when the assertion criteria, display itinerary, is met. And that's a sneak peek at how developers could use AI-generated UI and AI testing agents to build and release high-quality apps. Both projects are experimental right now, so join our early access program to learn more. That is so awesome. Please sign up for our early access group, and it's exclusively available through the Google Developer Program. So are you ready to supercharge your development? I've spoken about our suite of full-stack, multi-platform development tools. But hey, come on. What's more multi-platform than the web? Let's welcome my colleague, Paul, to talk about the latest in the web. Paul. Hello, thank you, Janine. The web turned 35 years old this year, and since 1989, generations of developers like you have shaped this incredible technology and brought countless improvements and innovations to our lives. From the modem uh, to broadband transition, the desktop to mobile, the web is now ready for the dawn of a new generational shift in computing with AI. Today, I'm going to show you how we are using AI to supercharge the web to bring you new capabilities and tooling. It's your path to better development. It's more powerful. It's a more powerful web made easier. As you heard earlier, Google is unique in its ability to deliver AI solutions that span all types of customers, model sizes, platforms, and environments. The web is vital to achieving global reach, and on-device execution is vital to serving that new audience with AI features. On-device AI is an ideal complement to serving AI models from the cloud and enables you to deliver AI solutions at a lower cost, with fewer capacity challenges, with better data privacy. So no matter what AI model you build with, WebGPU and WebAssembly are the backbone technologies that enable on-device on the web. And this year, we've invested heavily to ensure that models run quickly and efficiently. So with improvements like 16-bit floating point values in WebGPU, Memory64 and JavaScript promise integration into WebAssembly, we are making it easier to have AI run faster on a wider set of hardware. So whether you are using TensorFlow.js, the Onyx runtime, Transform.js, the MediaPipe, or any other AI library, WebAssembly and WebGPU uh, enable you to run models at scale across the vast majority of devices on the planet. And companies have already seen the benefits of running AI models on their devices. Billy Billy used WebAssembly and image, rec uh, image recognition technology uh, with MediaPipe to move text behind the speaker. Now, this is a really simple change, but it improved session duration by 30% and click-through rate by 19%. And this commitment to on-device isn't just theoretical for us. Starting in Chrome 126, Gemini Nano is built into the Chrome desktop client itself. We use Gemini to, enables, uh, to enable Chrome's features, uh, including things like Help Me Write, which uses on-device AI to help overseas users write short-form content like product reviews, social media posts, and customer feedback. 
And to deliver this feature, we fine-tuned our most efficient version of Gemini and optimized Chrome to load that model quickly. Now, we want to give you, developers, access to those Gemini models inside Chrome. And our vision is that you'll be able to deliver powerful AI features to Chrome's billions of users without having to worry about prompt engineering, prompt fine-tuning, capacity, or cost. All you have to do is call a very few high-level APIs like translate, caption, or subscribe, uh, uh, transcribe. We are also experimenting with a very simple prompt API. This experimental API allows you to send natural language commands to an instance of Gemini Nano in Chrome and get a high quality response back nearly instantly without any data leaving your device. And I think this is a big shift for the web, so we want to get it right. We've already started to work with other browser vendors and we want to work with you too. So help us shape the future of the web by signing up for our early preview program. With WebGPU, WebAssembly, and Gemini built into Chrome, I think the web is AI ready. But AI features are only as good as the UI that you build around them, so we're delivering new powerful capabilities for you to create app-like experiences on the web. And now, when people think about websites, they often picture clicking a blue link, waiting for the page to load, Maybe the page shifts around a little bit as well. And then finally, you can start to use and explore the content on that page. But that's not the web that we envision. Our vision for the web is one where a website is a single holistic experience where you seamlessly transition from one part of a site to the next and your context moves with you. And to achieve this, we need to get rid of the tiresome page load. Our new Speculation Rules API will enable truly instant navigation. Speculation Rules will dramatically speed up browsing within a site by prefetching and pre-rendering pages in the background. And this allows pages to load literally in milliseconds. And best of all, the API only requires a few lines of code to get started. And by using uh, pre-rendering with Speculation Rules, WeTV was able to improve their Core Web Vitals LCP, or largest contentful paint score, by 55%. Next, we need to make the transition experience seamless. And to achieve this, we launched the View Transitions API for single page apps. And we've been amazed by the response. Developers across the world are already using View Transitions to build better experiences. Alibaba's Miravia created a smooth, seamless navigation within their product pages after implementing view transitions for single page apps. And they saw a huge 20% increase uh, in engagement. And at Google I.O. this year, we introduced the cross document, uh, the, uh, the, the view transitions API can be used for multi-page apps. And since then, Miravia was one of our first partners to implement this cross document view transition in their development environment. Now, you can create uh, fluid navigation regardless of your site's architecture. And when you combine view transitions with speculation uh, rules, page transitions can feel truly seamless and they redefine what we think of as a web app. So as you build these new experiences, Chrome DevTools is one of the most popular ways to debug and tune your application. DevTools is great at giving you warnings and errors when your site isn't going to work correctly. However, these, er these errors aren't always the easiest to understand or interpret. Gemini will now generate insights right inside the Chrome DevTools console. And when you have an error or warning on the console and you're not quite sure how to fix it, Chrome DevTools insights will help you understand what the problem is and more importantly, how to fix it by giving you a contextually relevant answer that's based on your code. AI can help you speed up web development by taking away so much of the debugging pain so that you can focus on what you care about the most. And Console Insights in Chrome DevTools is now available as an experimental feature. So as you explore these new tools and build powerful web experiences, you'll find the latest documentation, case studies and news from us in simplified Chinese at our new Chrome developer and web developer sites. 
So thank you for taking this journey with us as we make the web more powerful and easier than ever to build for. Now, let's hear, uh, let's hear from Jingyu on how Google is helping shape and innovate uh, and be productive on mobile. Can see Paul. 各位开发者朋友们，大家好！很高兴今年又有机会在北京和中国的开发者齐聚一堂。接下来，让我们一起踏上一段 Android 之旅，聚焦这个全球用户最多的移动操作系统。Android 正在以 AI 为核心，开启一个全新的移动应用时代。我们致力于让每一位开发者。都可以在移动端创造出前所未有的卓越体验，打造 AI 助力的出海应用，让中国的创新走向世界。准备好了吗？让我们来一起了解如何利用 Gemini 构建下一代 Android 应用。我们最高效并且最适用于设备端的模型 Gemini Nano， 因为直接在移动端运行。你可以为用户提供更快的响应速度，同时确保数据隐私。例如，在聊天应用中，利用 Gemini Nano 实现的智能回复功能，可以为用户提供实时智能回复的同时，还可以确保数据隐私。当然，使用 Gemini Nano 实现的 AI 功能也不需要网络，因为所有的操作都在设备上完成。Gemini Nano 通过 AI Core 系统服务实现。我们深知管理、打包和分发大语言模型的复杂，因此系统服务 AI Core 负责管理设备上的基础模型。你可以直接使用这些模型，从而更加专注 AI 功能的开发。Gemini Nano 和 AI Core 现已登陆 Google Pixel 8和三星 Galaxy S 2 4系列。今年我们还将支持更多的设备。去年底，我们推出了 Gemini Nano 的早期访问计划，在开发者中获得了强烈的反响。目前，我们正与部分开发者进行深入合作，着力优化 API， 解锁更多的创新功能。在我们的早期开发者当中 ，Adobe 正在试用 Gemini Nano， 帮助用户总结文档内容，实现交互，以此增强 Acrobat AI 助手在设备端的体验。未来几个月，我们将进一步开放使用权限，让更多的开发者可以体验 Gemini Nano 强大的功能。我们相信这样的案例只是一个序章，伴随着更加强大的 Gemini Nano 模型的推出，我们期待看到大家创造出更多的精彩应用。接下来，让我们从创新来到开发效率，了解 Android 如何帮你更快、更轻松地构建在不同设备上的卓越体验。我们很荣幸地见证了 Kotlin 社区的蓬勃发展，并深深感受到了大家对它的热爱。今年，我们决定迈出一大步，支持 Kotlin Multi Platform， 用于业务多机，以便大家可以在移动端、Web 服务器和桌面平台之间共享代码。我们与 j a b b r i n g s 和开发者社区合作，为 Data Store、Room 和 View Models 等多个 Jetpack 库添加了 Kotlin Multi Platform 支持。未来，我们还计划支持更多的库。在 UI 方面 ，Compose 让你更快、更简单地构建适合各种屏幕格式的 UI 界面。今天排名前一千的应用中，百分之四十都使用了 Compose， 并正在享受它带来的优势。Compose 的每一个版本都在持续提速，结合 R8 和 Baseline Profiles， 你可以显著提升你的应用性能。除了性能上的提升 ，Compose 还增加了共享元素过渡等新功能，从而为用户提供更流畅、更棒的体验。共享元素过渡动画可以帮你处理过渡中大小的变化和文字的动画，同时对可预测返回手势也做了原生支持。
。我们的开发者们已经注意到，那些在多种不同的 Android 设备上都提供出色和流畅体验的应用，用户互动度显著提升了。为了让跨设备构建应用变得更轻松，我们打造了一系列新的 Compose API， 帮助你构建符合 m o t o r o l 设计规范的自适应布局。我们很多早期开发者已经在他们的 Compose 项目中使用了这类布局，大幅节省了开发时间。我们还改进了 Compose 对触控笔、鼠标和键盘的支持，让你的应用可以更好的适用用户手中的输入设备。无论你使用的是 Views 还是 Compose， 全新的手写识别功能在 AI 的加持下，都能轻松将手写内容转化成文本。接下来说说测试。我们联合小米、OPPO、Google Pixel 和三星等品牌，以及 OnePlus， 将他们的设备实验室接入由 Firebase 支持的 Android Device Streaming 测试平台，现处于 beta 阶段。有了它，你可以更好的在更多的真机设备上直接验证你的自适应应用，包括最新款的折叠屏手机和平板电脑。数以百万计的开发者利用 Android API 和 Android Studio 打造出精彩分成的应用，触达全球数十亿用户。我们为此感到无比自豪。当前，我们的一大重心是以 AI 赋能 Android 开发，实现提效减负。去年，我们推出了 Android 的 AI 编程搭档 Studio Bot。今年，我们将它纳入到了 Android Studio 稳定版中，并在推出 Gemini Android Studio 时，让它正式成为 Gemini 产品家族的一员。我们的愿景是负责任的运用 AI， 让你可以将更多的时间投入到你喜欢的开发过程过程中，助力和简化困难复杂的开发任务。举一个例子。Android Studio 中的 Crosslytics 集成变得更智能，它不仅能在源代码中快速定位崩溃和错误，还能利用 Gemini 的强大分析能力，为你提供切实可行的修复建议。随着我们加入更多的 AI 功能，数据分享由你掌控，你可以在 Android Studio 的内置 AI 隐私设置中控制选择分享哪些或者不分享哪些数据。Gemini in Android Studio 新增了代码生成和代码转换等新功能，我们将继续试验，从而更好的使用 AI， 提高你的开发效率。今年下旬，你还可以使用包括图像和文本的多模态输入，以获得 Gemini 1.5 Pro 支持的更高质量的反馈和新功能。那么好的，接下来有请 Richard 为我们介绍云端新旅程。So what a terrific time to be a developer, isn't it? It's kind of a complicated one too, though. You're expected to know so much: languages, frameworks, build systems, databases, architecture patterns, infrastructure automation. Now AI too. It's a lot. I'd say the first generation of cloud was very powerful, but didn't simplify any of that. We think there's a new way to cloud, one that makes it. Easier to build amazing software faster, more securely. So, what do we mean by the new way to cloud? Is that just some fun marketing slogan? No, I think there's more to it than that. We built something pretty unique here, based on Google's global footprint, engineering experience, consumer focus. We've created a new type of cloud platform. So, here are five major characteristics that help you kind of learn the best way to use Google Cloud in a modern way. First way. The new way to cloud is uniquely powerful. This isn't about just getting better infrastructure than you can get on premises. That's the first generation cloud. You got to expect more. It's about being able to build better than anywhere else. Get scale, automation, functionality, integration that help you do your best work. You see that in services like Google Kubernetes Engine, where you get unique features like fleets and autopilot mode. 
or in BigQuery, where you get this complete integrated analytics environment without any infrastructure management. Or look at Vertex AI, where you're able to train, tune, and serve models while accessing the best AI that Google has to offer. Let's talk more about that last one. So how about I show you? So with Gemini 1.5 large context, we can pass in requests with over two million tokens. What is that? That's two hours of video, 20 hours of audio, 1,500 pages of text, or 60,000 lines of code. That's a lot. So look what I have here. I took a recent webinar from a session here in China, and I'm using Vertex AI to process this 250,000 token video. See that here, Gemini 1.5 recognizes the audio and visio, video, uh, visuals and translates it for me as well. So you see, we'll get the response back in a short time and it's actually able to translate. Now to save costs, I can take advantage of context caching in Vertex AI so I don't have to pass this video in each time. And do I need to ground the results with data in addition to what the model was trained with? Sure, I can use the ability to ground with Google search or even your own data. Next up, the new way to cloud is also opinionated, yet extensible. That means that we bake Google and industry best practices into the cloud experience, but also give you the freedom to use whatever technology and approach makes sense to you. You see this in Google Cloud with our preference for container-based solutions, jumpstart solutions where you can deploy real enterprise-grade architectures, and even our production-grade default values when you provision a new service. And look at our embrace of open source interfaces too. Bring whatever you'd like. So let's give you an example here. So Vertex AI offers about 150 different models, including our standout Gemini models, as well as Gemma Open models, but also Claude from Anthropic or Llama from Meta. In this case, you can see I can actually pull the latest models from Hugging Face as well and bring them into the environment. Right, so you can see that integration there, access those thousands of models, deploy them to GKE or Vertex AI directly, which is pretty great. All right, let's talk about more. So the next part of the new way to cloud, I'll go back one, there we go, I'm getting too excited. Yeah, so the old way to cloud is about proprietary tech that creates a sort of walled garden. The new way to cloud is about cross-cloud friendliness, right? I'm able to connect things across clouds. So we offer a very unique approach to meet you where you are. You can deploy Google Kubernetes engine clusters on premises or in other clouds while managing all of that from Google Cloud directly. You can even connect to Oracle Cloud and Google Cloud with no data transfer costs. Or even take our highly optimized PostgreSQL database, AlloyDB Omni, and put that on any infrastructure you want. Even create a cross-cloud interconnect to securely bridge between the cloud providers. I think you'll like this example. So BigQuery Omni actually brings a common BigQuery experience to you regardless of which major cloud you use. In this example, I have some employee data sitting in an Azure data lake here. No problem. BigQuery Omni actually runs in Azure with no data leaving Azure. And with federated queries, I can access data such as even office data sitting in a Cloud SQL database. Now look here. I'm actually able to use cross-cloud joins and federated queries to join data from BigQuery, Azure, and Cloud SQL in a single query. Nobody does that but us. So look, great technology makes it easier to do powerful things, right? So the next characteristic of the new way to cloud is simplicity. AI helps, as does a cloud that's designed to get out of the way and get you back to building. Here's one really clear example for you. It used to take several weeks and hundreds of steps to set up a cloud and foundation in Google Cloud, also known as a landing zone. Customers complained that it wasn't clear what was Google's opinion and how to navigate all the different steps it took to get this done. Not anymore. Now setting up a production-grade cloud foundation with all the networking, identity, logging, and more can be done in 45 minutes with automation and smart defaults. It's really just one example of the work we do to make it easier for you to get the most out of cloud. And look, you shouldn't have to know everything to do anything in the cloud. The new way to cloud is AI-assisted. 
That means that AI is infused into the cloud experience to answer questions, generate code, even summarize really complex data. Gemini for Google Cloud assists all sorts of users and helps you do your best work. Can I give you a quick tour? All right. So I'll start here in Gemini Code Assist. This IDE plugin brings cloud-tuned AI to code generation, completion, test generation, explanation. Soon we're bringing customization so you can link to your code in GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket. And large context support is coming as well to process all your app code. This isn't just in the IDE though. Check out this integrated chat baked into the Google Cloud Console. I can get CLI commands and all sorts of information. But hey, this isn't just for developers. Data folks get benefits here too. Gemini in databases brings AI assistance to SQL generation, database operations, and more. And look at this. This is Gemini in BigQuery. I'm summarizing this complex query or even using it to write new ones. Really, really handy when I get those big complex queries. And look, even operators can get into the mix here. If you look here, I'm actually using Gemini to summarize a cloud logging entry and making it more readable for someone trying to troubleshoot their system. Look, the new way to cloud isn't just about a ton of amazing services that are simpler to use and AI assisted. It's about putting you at the center and ensuring that you're able to build better software and make a global impact. Thank you. Now welcome Bill as he's gonna share more about how we think about bold and responsible AI. Come on up here, Bill. Thank you, Richard. Now, 与包容的坚定承诺确凿确保AI造福人为 鉴于AI生成的内容日益复杂，我们升级了去年发布的SynthID的水印技术。现在不仅能用于文本，还能给视频内容添加水印。这一更新非常有助于打击虚假信息、拱牢新概新一代AI模型的安全防线。我们仍
为不同的类型的组织和个人带来机遇。我们将聚焦三个关键领域 ：OEM、初创企业和社会公益。我希望他们的故事能给大家带来灵感和启发。来自 OPPO 的唐凯，初创公司 Grow Network 的王小雨。以及我的同事在谷歌的邝斌，将依次为大家带来精彩的分享。让我们欢迎他上台。首先，有请唐凯。大家好，我是来自 OPPO 的唐凯，软件工程事业部的负责人。首先，非常感谢 Google 开发者大会的邀请，在这里分享。生成式 AI 技术给手机行业带来了创新，同时也分享我们的 AI 手机战略，以及这段时间我们与 Google 团队一起合作创新的 AI 功能。OPPO 一直致力于通过科技创新，为用户创造美好的使用体验。我们在二零二十年初推出了 AI 手机，六月初 ，OPPO 宣布全面普及 AI 手机。我们将生成式 AI 技术引入到了全部产品线。那么，预计到二零二四年底，我们将会为全球范围内五千万的用户提供生成式 AI 的功能。我们认为 ，AI 手机通常需要具备四个关键的特征：高效利用计算资源、感知现实世界、自我学习能力和创造力。同时，更加智慧的操作系统将会引入全面的、全新的多模态的交互体验，它能够更加灵活的规划、编排以及调用一方和三方的应用。那么，在不久的将来，整个手机行业将会重构 AI 手机的硬件平台、操作系统以及服务生态。OPPO 希望成为 AI 手机的普及者和贡献者。对此，我们愿意保持开放的心态，与行业领导者密切的合作，为用户打造最佳的 AI 手机体验。而 Google 作为全球范围内人工智能领域的领导者，引领着人工智能技术的发展和创新。那么，基于双方对于 AI 手机的充分的共识，我们选择了 Google 的基本代模型。并与 Google 一起在海外市场推出了一系列的生成式 AI 功能。首先是音频或者会议摘要功能。我们知道，对会议或者采访进行总结是一项非常枯燥的工作。对此，我们使用了 Gemini 一点五 Pro， 它能够支持超长输入的语音识别、语义推理、知识多语言。同时能够对多说话人进行辨识，用户可以非常方便的捕获要点，极大的提高了工作效率。此外，我们还基于 Gemini 一点五 Flash 开发了 AI 工具箱，它是由一系列的 AI 效率工具所组成，这包括 AI 写作、实时翻译、多模态的社模内容生成。那么，所有的这些功能。都已经集成在了全新的 c o l o s 智能侧面栏中，用户可以在各个场景非常便捷的进行调用。那么与 Google 合作的所有的这些 AI 高效工具，都已经集成在了全新的 c o l o s 十四，并在今年六月份全球发布的 r e n o 十二系列中与用户见面。目前已经在欧洲、亚太、印度以及中东非等多地上市。用户的满意度非常高。那么，当前我们正在与 Google 团队密切的合作，打造更多的生成式 AI 的功能。预计将会在今年下半年的 c o l o r 十五与大家见面。作为参与者，我们正在见证生成式 AI 技术给各行各业带来了深远影响。我们也非常感谢在我们的合作过程中 ，Google 团队所付出的一切努力。我们坚信。Google 和 OPPO 将会为手机行业带来越来越多的创新。我们也期待
AI 手机，早日走进千家万户。好的，谢谢大家。接下来有请 Guru Network 的王小雨。大家早上好，我是 Guru Network 的 CEO 王小雨。我们是一家专注于出海游戏和应用的初创公司，同时我也非常荣幸的担任谷歌出海创业加速器2023和2024届学员的导师，为创业生态的蓬勃发展尽一份绵薄之力。g u r u Network 热衷于探索 AI 技术，并积极运用 AI 来优化用户体验，提升运营效率。Google AI 给开发者提供的工具在其中发挥了重要的作用。谷歌提供了适合不同应用场景的多种 AI 模型，可以很好的适用我们的各种业务需求。六月下旬 g e m a t o 发布之后，我们立马就上手试用。我们惊喜地发现，它在文本生成任务上表现出色，因此决定应用于我们的一个播客产品 Castbox， 为播客内容生成摘要。有了这项实用的功能，用户不用收听整集播客，就可以快速掌握内容要点。同时，我们希望用 AI 实现开发提效，但出于隐私的考虑，我们并不希望把代码上传到云端。而这个时候 c o d e j a m a 就正好解决了这个难题。它可以直接在本地设备上生产和保存代码，在保护隐私的同时，可以让我们多处理百分之十的产品项目，而无需大幅扩展工程团队。我们的工程师发现 c o d e j a m a 可以简化工作流程，让他们把更多的精力投入到更复杂的工作中，从而为用户打造更出色的产品。最主要的是 c o d e j a m a 的生成速度要远远高于其他的开源模型，这也是它的一大优势。工程师在与大语言模型进行交互的时候，无需长时间等待，这样子节省了很大的效率。而 Gemini 1.5 Pro 则为产品创新注入了强大的动力。我们可以通过 API 轻松地获得 Google 最先进也最强大的 AI 模型，并集成到我们的应用当中。比如，我们的 Cast Chat 是一个社交产品，目前已经集成了四项 AI 功能，包括实时交互的语音聊天。能够排解生活压力的 AI 宠物，以及贴心陪伴的 AI 好友。那最后还有 AI 主持的游戏房间。那这些功能呢，都深受用户喜爱，提供独特且有趣的交互方式。Gemini 的用户让我们的体验能够精彩升级，引爆 AI 互动乐趣。在 Gemini 的帮助下，我们不仅实现了百分之六次留存的增长，我们的用户使用时长也提高了百分之三十。用户对这些 AI 的功能爱不释手，持续互动并乐此不疲。可以看到 ，Google AI 已经成为我们增长和创新的引擎。我们对 AI 的发展充满期待，也希望我们今天的经历能够探索，带着大家一起启发大家去探索 AI 的巨大潜力。同时，也希望大家跟着 Google AI 一起，让我们的用户增长得更好，让我们的用户更满意。那最后呢，有请我们 Google 的邝斌给大家介绍一个社会公益的项目。谢谢大家。大家好，我是来自谷歌 Playphone 的 Device 团队软件工程师邝斌。两年前，我们通过 NGO 合作伙伴二百福，认识了一群视障儿童。直到那天近距离接触，才知道，在这些孩子的眼中，看清世界是多么困难。他们的视力有多低？当我们站在他们面前，他们看不清，只能感受一个模糊的影子。这场景让我觉得有些心疼。但令我感到意外和感动的是。这些生理上的障碍并没有阻止他们探索世界，他们充满了求知的热情。同时，我们发现，他们的学习材料有着复杂的背景和颜色组合，其实对他们的视觉并不友好，而且并不能帮助他们从中获得有效的信息。为了能让他们有更好的学习体验，当年我们招募了四十多个谷歌志愿者。
用剪辑软件制作了数十条视障儿童友好的教学视频，教他们认识诸如动物、工具、水果、形状等基础概念。这些视频打开了孩子们学习的新世界，获得了很好的反馈，获得家长、老师们认可，坚定了我们想帮助他们持续学习和探索的决心。可问题来了，如果继续用剪辑软件，这样的方式，人力成本高，缺乏灵活性，产出也低。于是，我们就想，是否可以利用 AI 技术，从根本上解决这个问题呢？我们希望 AI 的智能技术能帮助孩子们慧眼识教。于是，我们先基于 Google Cloud 开发而部署了一个全球可用的平台，来生成视障儿童可以看清的内容。接着，使用谷歌开发并开源的 m e t e o p i 框架，对复杂的图片进行图像分割，分离图片中的物体和背景。将图片和文字变为对孩子们视觉友好的内容。m e d i a b i k e 在设备端进行的开发和部署，让我们在很低的成本下处理了大批量的图片。然后，为了给视障人群准备丰富的学习内容，我们利用谷歌 Gemini 1.5 Flash 生成适合视障人群学习的视频脚本。Gemini 1.5 Flash 具有低延迟和高性价比的特色。可以让视频生成的时间几乎减半，同时我们利用它的多模态能力，可以很好的判断什么样的视频适合视障人群。我们又使用谷歌的 Image 模型，它可以根据文本生成相应风格的图片，以及对图片进行编辑。最后，我们用 Google Cloud 文本转语音技术，为每条视频添加了声音。整个过程中，我们使用多个谷歌 AI 代理协作，各个 AI 代理负责不同的视频生成任务，非常高效的提高了生成过程的效率和灵活性。有了 AI 技术的助力，我们高效批量生产了很多主题丰富、图文并茂、带有声音讲解、适合孩子们的学习视频，同时也大大帮助老师们提升了教学效果。当我们看着孩子们沉浸在这些学习视频中，开心积极的探索，内心非常欣慰。艾百福老师告诉我们，他们计划将慧眼识教产品分享给来自印度、菲律宾、马来西亚的多家机构，来帮助全球更多的视障儿童。谢谢大家。接下来我把时间交回给我的同事比尔。谢谢三位嘉宾的精彩分享，再次把掌掌声送给他们。那正如我们今天所见，谷歌 AI 正在助力 OEM 厂商打造更智能的设备，为初创企业插上腾飞的翅膀，为公益事业注入温暖的力量。我们相信，这仅仅是一个开始。谷歌 AI 正在全速前进。其潜在应用领域同样广阔无限。我们致力于与在座的每一位开发者携手，共同创造一个更加智能、包容且负责任的未来。接下来，请欢迎我的同事 David 为大家分享来自开发者生态团队的最新项目动态。有请 David。Beijing. It is wonderful to be back in Beijing. It's wonderful to be back in China. Just last year, about this time, we were all in Shanghai for IO Connect, and here, a year later, we are rejoining here in the wonderful city of Beijing. Thank you all for being here. As you heard throughout the rest of this morning, the past year has been full of phenomenal accomplishments. Both in the technology industry as well as in all of the product announcements that you've heard from Google 
as well as all of the wonderful companies and startups and developer work that you've been doing here in China. It's truly inspiring to see how you, our developer community, are leveraging the very latest of AI technology to fuel creativity, to build really innovative solutions, and ultimately, to be more productive. Our community programs at Google are designed to empower all of you to build smarter and to ship faster. I want to give a huge shout out to the Google developer groups that are in the audience, as well as the Google developer experts and the women tech maker ambassadors who have provided continuous trust and support for all of the programs and the products and the initiatives that Google has. Thank you so much. You've provided this support throughout the last several years and you've engaged developers across the country through events such as our DevFests, our IO Extendeds, and our International Women's Day. This year, we rolled out an entirely new campaign with your help that was called the Build with AI campaign. And globally, we helped developers everywhere learn about Google's AI products. It was fantastic to see over 118,000 developers from all over the world get together at over 1,200 different community-led events. And here in China, our Google developer groups hosted events in over 20 different cities with more than 2,000 developers participating in learning and building with Gemma. Besides supporting your innovation and your productivity, we're also at Google here to help you as you create solutions that drive really positive social impact. We want to help you do good by the world. And I'm really inspired by some of the work that I've seen. For example, just last month, the developer groups in China partnered with local NGOs to host a hackathon that used our open source product, Gemma, to solve some really key local challenges. We saw an exciting range of applications and prototypes using Gemma in things such as elderly care, early child education, and sustainability. And we are looking forward to more and more developers across China who can take advantage of AI to build more products to improve people's lives. We're also thrilled to see incredible innovations emerging from the startups across China. And in particular, those startups that have been part of our Google for Startups Accelerator program, which set out to support export-based startups across China. Let's take Polyverse, for example. Polyverse was a 2023 alumni and a creator of AI Mirror, an AI-powered image generation app that turns your photos into hundreds of different styles in just a few clicks. They were able to leverage Gemini's multimodal capabilities to streamline their overall workflow. This included ads material gener gen generation. It included copy and creative generation. And all of these put together significantly reduced both the time and the cost of content creation. Gemini's multilingual inputs to professional prompting also enabled better prompting results as well as better image generation all of which resulted in a much better product experience for the end users. Today, I'm super happy to welcome the 2024 cohort of the Google for Startups Accelerator. We are excited to support these AI-focused startups in their export journey. They're starting with a boot camp this very week, which kicks off their three-month acceleration curriculum. We can't wait to see what they do next. We are committed to sharing our technology and resources with you, the developer and startup ecosystem. We want to support you on your product journey as well as your international expansion in the long term. To help with this, today we are introducing a comprehensive training program for all Chinese export companies, including technical trainings, Google Cloud credits, and unique networking opportunities with investors at the Google Cloud Startup Summit. Stay tuned for many more program details, and if you aren't already, be sure to follow us on Google Developers on WeChat. In the next two days, I encourage you, immerse yourself in workshops, explore various sessions, make sure to connect both with each other as well as the Google teams who are here throughout this event.
I want to thank all of you for being such an integral part of this incredible journey. I'm really excited to see what you build next. Now, go explore IO Connect. Shay Shay.